Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe if you like the content. Injera. A staple food and street food in Eritrea, injera is a sourdough flatbread made from teff flour and served with various stews and dishes. Injera is a unique and essential part of the culinary culture in Ethiopia and Eritrea. It is a traditional sourdough flatbread that serves as a staple food and a fundamental element of many meals in both countries. Injera is made from teff flour, which is a type of grain native to the region, known for its nutritional value and gluten-free properties. Here's an overview of how injera is made. Teff flour. Teff grains are milled into flour to create the base of injera. Teff comes in different colors, such as white, red, and brown, which can result in slightly varying flavors and textures. Fermentation. Injera dough undergoes a fermentation process, where the teff flour is mixed with water and left to ferment for a certain period, usually between 24 to 72 hours. During fermentation, the naturally occurring wild yeast and bacteria in the environment interact with the dough, giving it a sour taste and causing it to rise and develop air pockets. Cooking. Injera is traditionally cooked on a large circular griddle or clay plate called a midid. The midid is heated over a fire or stove. The fermented injera batter is poured onto the hot surface, starting from the center and swirling outward to create a thin, circular pancake-like shape. Unique texture. The cooking process creates a porous and slightly spongy texture, which allows the injera to be flexible and easy to tear. The bottom side of the injera is cooked, while the top remains relatively uncooked, resulting in a characteristic appearance with a bubbly surface. Stacking and serving. Once cooked, the injera is stacked on a plate or woven basket until ready to serve. Injera is typically large, often covering the entire serving dish, and is meant to be shared among diners. It serves as both a base and an eating utensil in Ethiopian and Eritrean cuisine. Serving with other dishes. Injera is served with a variety of dishes, such as stews, wats, made from meats, lentils, and vegetables. The injera is torn into pieces, and diners use it to scoop up the stews, making it a communal and interactive dining experience. Injera's tangy flavor and unique texture make it a beloved and versatile part of the culinary traditions in Ethiopia and Eritrea. It is not only a fundamental element of meals but also a symbol of hospitality and social gatherings in these East African countries. Shiro. A popular chickpea or broad bean stew, often served with injera. Shiro is a popular and traditional dish in Ethiopian and Eritrean cuisine. It is a flavorful stew made from powdered legumes, typically roasted chickpeas or broad beans, mixed with spices and served with injera, a sourdough flatbread. Shiro is a beloved comfort food and a common choice for both vegetarians and meat eaters. Here's an overview of how shiro is made. Preparation of shiro powder. To make shiro, chickpeas or broad beans are roasted until they turn brown and aromatic. Once cooled, they are ground into a fine powder, which is the primary ingredient for the dish. Shiro sauce base. The shiro powder is mixed with water or broth to form a thick paste or sauce base. Sometimes, minced onions, garlic, and oil are sautéed before adding the shiro powder to enhance the flavor. Spices and seasonings. Shiro is seasoned with a blend of spices that typically includes berbere, a hot and flavorful spice mix, garlic, ginger, and sometimes fenugreek. The amount of berbere used can be adjusted to control the spiciness of the dish according to individual preferences. Cooking. The shiro sauce is cooked over low to medium heat, stirring continuously to avoid lumps and ensure even cooking. The goal is to reach a smooth and thick consistency. Serving. Once the shiro reaches the desired texture, it is ready to be served. It is often placed on a large serving platter, and injera is used to scoop up the stew. Shiro can be served as the main dish, alongside other stews, or as part of a larger spread. There are different variations of shiro, and regional differences in the choice of legumes and spices may occur. In some variations, minced onions and tomatoes are added to the shiro sauce, further enriching the flavors. Additionally, some cooks may choose to use lentils or other legumes in combination with chickpeas or broad beans. Shiro is loved for its rich, aromatic flavors, and it offers a delightful taste experience when combined with the spongy texture of injera. It is a cherished part of Ethiopian and Eritrean culinary traditions and is frequently enjoyed at home, in restaurants, and during communal gatherings and celebrations. Sambusa. Similar to samosas, sambusa is a deep-fried or baked pastry filled with spiced meat, lentils, or vegetables. 
Sambusa, also known as samosa in some regions, is a popular savory snack that originated in the Indian subcontinent and has spread to many other parts of the world. It is a triangular or cone-shaped pastry filled with a mixture of spiced vegetables, meat, or lentils. Sambusa is widely enjoyed as a street food, appetizer, or snack in various cultures. Here's a general overview of how sambusa is made. Pastry dough. Sambusa pastry is typically made from all-purpose flour, water, oil or ghee, clarified butter, and a pinch of salt. The dough is kneaded until smooth and allowed to rest for a short while. Filling. The filling for sambusa can vary significantly depending on regional preferences and dietary restrictions. Common fillings include spiced potatoes, peas, carrots, onions, lentils, minced meat, such as beef, chicken, or lamb, or a combination of these ingredients. The filling is usually cooked with various spices, such as cumin, coriander, turmeric, ginger, and chili, to create a flavorful mixture. Shaping. The rested dough is rolled out into thin sheets and then cut into small, triangular or cone-shaped pieces. The filling is placed on one half of each piece of dough. Folding. The dough is then folded over the filling to form a triangular or cone shape. The edges are sealed with a little water or flour paste to keep the sambusa intact during frying. Cooking. Sambusas are deep fried until golden and crispy. Alternatively, they can be baked in the oven for a slightly healthier version. The method of cooking may vary based on personal preference and regional traditions. Serving. Once cooked, sambusas are typically served hot and can be enjoyed as they are or with various dipping sauces or chutneys for added flavor. Sambusas crispy, flaky exterior and flavorful fillings make it a delightful and convenient snack or appetizer. It is a versatile dish that can be customized to suit different tastes, and it has become a beloved street food in many countries beyond its place of origin. Sebi Durho. A traditional Eritrean chicken stew cooked with onions, tomatoes, and various spices. Sebi Durho, also known as Dorawat, is a traditional and popular Ethiopian and Eritrean dish. It is a rich and flavorful chicken stew that is often considered the national dish of Ethiopia. Sebi Durho is commonly served during special occasions, holidays, and celebrations, as well as being a beloved part of everyday cuisine. Here's an overview of how Sebi Durho is typically prepared. Chicken. The main ingredient of Sebi Durho is chicken. The chicken pieces, usually bone-in and skin-on, are marinated in a mixture of spices, such as berbere, a hot spice blend made from chili peppers, garlic, ginger, and other spices, niter kiba, spiced clarified butter, and sometimes a spice mix called mitmita. Sautéing. The marinated chicken is sautéed in a large pot or traditional Ethiopian clay pot called a masob, along with onions and sometimes garlic and ginger. The spices infuse the chicken as it cooks, creating a deep and complex flavor. Tomato paste. Tomato paste or tomatoes are often added to the pot, providing a rich and slightly tangy element to the stew. Simmering. After sautéing, the chicken is simmered over low heat, allowing the flavors to meld and the chicken to become tender. Hard-boiled eggs. Hard-boiled eggs are a classic addition to Sebi Durho. They are usually added to the stew and simmered with the chicken, taking on the flavors of the sauce. Serving. Sebi Durho is traditionally served with injera, a sourdough flatbread, which is used to scoop up the stew. Injera's spongy texture and tangy taste complement the rich and spicy flavors of the chicken stew. Sebi Durho is a dish that brings people together, often served during special gatherings and holidays. The combination of aromatic spices, tender chicken, and the depth of flavors makes it a truly delightful and iconic part of Ethiopian and Eritrean cuisine. Kitfo. A dish made from raw minced beef seasoned with clarified butter and spices. Kitfo is a traditional Ethiopian and Eritrean dish made from minced raw beef that is typically seasoned with various spices and sometimes clarified butter. It is a beloved and flavorful dish known for its rich taste and cultural significance. Here's an overview of how kitfo is typically prepared. Beef. The main ingredient of kitfo is raw beef. The beef is carefully selected and freshly ground or finely minced by hand. Seasonings. Kitfo is traditionally seasoned with midmita, a spicy chili powder blend that includes a mix of chili peppers, cardamom, cloves, and other spices. Niter kiba, a spiced clarified butter similar to ghee, is also used to add flavor to the dish. Variations. There are different variations of kitfo, each with its own level of spiciness. The most common types are a. 
Lab Lab. In this version, the minced beef is lightly seasoned with mitmita and niter kibba, but it is not marinated. B. Kitfo. The beef is mixed with mitmita and niter kibba and allowed to marinate for a short time to enhance the flavors. C. Special Kitfo. This version involves lightly cooking the meat with onions, and sometimes, it includes an additional ingredient like cottage cheese. Serving. Kitfo is traditionally served with injera, a sourdough flatbread that is used to scoop up the meat and enjoy it as a handheld delicacy. The spongy texture of injera complements the richness of the raw meat and spices. Accompaniments. Kitfo is often accompanied by side dishes such as goman, collard greens, aib, Ethiopian cheese, and cooked legumes like lentils or chickpeas. Variations. In some regions or households, Kitfo may also be served cooked or lightly seared instead of being entirely raw. This practice is more common to address health concerns related to consuming raw meat. Kitfo is considered a special and celebratory dish, often enjoyed during festive occasions and gatherings with family and friends. It is deeply rooted in Ethiopian and Eritrean culinary traditions and remains a symbol of cultural heritage and hospitality. As with any raw meat dish, it is essential to ensure that the meat used in Kitfo is fresh and of high quality to ensure food safety.